In the previous presentation, we had discussion on the independent and dependent sources. Now, in this presentation, we will be talking about the concept of a short circuit. Now, basically, what is a short circuit? A short circuit is an electrical circuit and that allows a current to travel along an unintended path with a no or very low resistance or simply we can say that complete circuit with no resistance. So by an unintended path we mean that the path which is undesirable to follow or the abnormal path between two nodes to follow by the current. Now the current in the short circuit is very high. A high current is flowing through the short circuit. So by no resistance or very low resistance, we mean that the resistance across a short circuit is equals to zero ohms. Now basically there are two cases for the short circuit in which the first one is an ideal case. So for an ideal case, the current through the short circuit is infinite and the resistance across a short circuit is zero ohms and the voltage across a short circuit is zero volts. Now to understand the ideal case in a more brief way, let's take an example in which we have a DC voltage source. Now if somehow there is an unintended path across the terminals of this voltage source and the resistance of this unintended path is equals to 0 ohms. So the voltage across this unintended path will be zero volts because the voltage, the resistance across this unintended path is zero ohms. So there will be no potential difference across this unintended path and this unintended path is basically the short circuit. The short circuit. So the current through this unintended path will be equals to, by using Ohm's law, the current through this unintended path will be equals to V. In this case, the voltage across this source or this DC voltage source and the resistance across this unintended path is zero ohms. So the current in this case is infinite. So infinite impair of current will flow from this unintended path, which is impossible. Impossible. Because it is violating the law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy because the current through this unintended path is infinite which is impossible now let's take a practical case of a short circuit so for the practical case the resistance of a short circuit will be equals to zero ohm which is the same in case of an ideal case and the voltage across a short circuit will also be zero volts which is the same for an ideal case now, in practical case, the current through a short circuit will be finite. Now, for the ideal case, the current through the short circuit is infinite. Now, to understand the practical case, let's take an example in which we have a current source having a 10 ampere value, which is connected in parallel with two resistors. Each one have the same value or the same resistance having one ohm of resistance and the other one is also having a 1 ohm of resistance. So 5 ampere of current will flow from this resistor and the 5 ampere of current will flow from this 1 ohm resistor. Now when an unintended path occurs between the two nodes of this circuit, so as we know that the current will follow the least resistance path and we know that the resistance of a short circuit or an unintended path is equals to 0 ohms. So the current will follow this path and there will be no more current through this resistor and this resistance. And the current through this unintended path will be 10 ampere, which is finite. So for the practical cases, the current through a short circuit, for the practical cases, practical cases, the current through the short circuit is equals to finite. Now it's all for today's presentation. If you have any doubt, ask in the comment section. See you in the next one.